Hey guys, Zach here from Stone Glacier and Spring Bear is right around the corner. So I just wanna run you guys through my setup for a three to five day backpack bear hunt. So uh, we'll run through some of just the kit that I would have on me and then we'll go through my backpack. So as far as layers, I got the de Havilland pants on. Underneath here I got the Chinook Merino. Um, normally I'd be wearing our Helio hoodie. Got my Hunter's Orange, need that in Montana. I'm gonna have our Skyline Bino Harness and Range Finder Pocket. And then I'm also gonna have our Gators which are gonna be coming out here. Hopefully in the next month, those things are pretty awesome. As far as the rifle I'm running, I got a 300 Weatherby Mag. This is a Weatherby Carbon Mark Pro with a Vortex Razor 5 to 20 on top of it. Roll on the Thunder Beast Suppressor. And then as far as my backpack, we got the new Evo 6900. If you guys are familiar with our Sky Talus 6900, this is the same backpack. It's just in the Evo colorway. And then I'm rocking our Crux Evo frame with the medium belt. So we'll just start breaking down this pack and show you guys what I got in here. Um, got just a regular accessory pocket on the side. Got a headlamp. I'm rocking the uh, Phoenix, the HL60R, this thing's crazy bright. Um, one thing that's nice if you're navigating any cliffy or steep terrain is to be able to like really project a beam out there and this thing rocks for that. Got my inReach, just want those things kind of handy on this side. On the other side, got some other essentials that I want quick access to. This is the larger accessory pocket. In here I got toilet paper and extra shells for my rifle. Both good things to have on hand. Uh, in here I also got my Kestrel. This is how I'm gonna get any of my data my, for my ballistics for my rifle if I'm gonna take longer shots. Um, you can print charts, but this thing's handy because it takes all the atmospheric variables and gives you exactly what you need to be dialing your scope to. Uh, I got a couple just light gloves, that way if I'm hiking and kind of starts to get cold, I can throw those on easy. Um, let's see, on the face of the backpack, basically <clears throat> I'm running our gun, gun sling here on the right hand side of the backpack. Um, basically I'm going to have my gun when I'm hiking and hunting for the most part on this side of my backpack. So what I do is I offset that weight a little bit by putting my spotter over here. I've got my tripod right in the middle, and then on this side you'll see I have some layers. So if I need to sit down and glass really quick, we can do that super easy. So we'll just start pulling some stuff off. Uh, I also take a trekking pole. A lot of the times I'll have this extended and using it, but for right now I just have it strapped to my backpack. So put that over here. In this side I've got the Leica, a Televid 82. As far as my tripod, I'm rocking an older Vortex, I don't even know what it's called, Summit XLT, they don't make this anymore. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than some other options on the market, but one thing that I really like about this is the ball head adjusts and locks really, really fast. So as far as getting my spotter on something quick, and, it, and if I'm trying to film through my spotter as well, that's super nice. And also these legs adjust tall enough to where I can stand and glass when I extend the center pole. So I'll carry a little bit of extra weight for those reasons. And then on this side here, I like to carry a pair of gloves, beanie, and my rain jacket. Um, spring bear, it's raining a lot, so you wanna have quick access to that. And then if I'm sitting down to glass, a beanie and gloves is always nice can get pretty cold in the spring. It's actually snowing out today, so I'm just gonna set this over here. Give me a little more space. In the lid, the top of my bag here, I just like to keep smaller items that I wanna have access to. I carry a second pair of gloves. Um, if one gets wet, you're kinda out of luck, so having a second one is always nice. Um, there's a couple different things I like to use for, for filtration of water, and this is a SteriPen. Um, it's super easy. Basically pop this open if it had batteries in it. Gonna double click it, 
spin it around, the UV light kills the stuff in the water that you don't want in your system. So that's pretty handy. Hand warmers, smart. <laughs> Some people would say that's weak. I'd say it's smart. Uh, I got a pair of waterproof mitt shells. So basically if it's raining and I already have a pair of gloves that's wetted out or something, I can just take this, run it right inside of my liner. And if I'm glassing for extended periods or hiking in the rain, you can keep your hands dry. So that comes in pretty handy. I think these are just outdoor research. Uh, this is a little carry case for my puffy. Got some sunscreen. Uh, this is a little bino attachment that goes on the top of my tripod so I can glass off my tripod with my binoculars. When you're bear hunting, you're gonna be spending a ton of time behind the glass. So being able to put your binoculars on basically, you know, your tripod and have that steady base is gonna be really helpful for picking out bears. Uh, in here, I got my rain cover for my backpack. And then this is just toothbrush, kind of toiletry stuff for when I'm out there in camp. And then in the, in the main bag here, basically I have the zippers where I'm gonna need to access stuff quickest. So I got a Grumman Puffy, throw that on the ground. Got my rain jacket, or excuse me, rain pants. It's just M5 rain pants. Uh, got my food in my water bottle, so I carry a Nalgene. This is what I use my SteriPen to clean my water when I'm back there. Um, so I always carry this, and then if you want to mix any kind of drinks or electrolyte mix, you can do it in that. I keep my food here at the top of my pack. Um, this isn't exactly what I'd carry. I need to up my snack game before spring bear starts, but I threw some just some freeze dried meals in here to show you kind of what this would look like. You know, this would basically be maybe three days here. If I had five days, this would just be a little bit expanded. And I'm shooting for at least 3000 calories a day. Got the Grumman down pants. Um, if it's really warm, these aren't a necessity, but I like to have them. If you're glass and it's amazing how much warmer you are the second that you put these on, even if you're super insulated up top. So um, I just kind of shove these in there. They fill up any kind of smaller odd spaces. So those are nice to have and they weigh basically nothing. Um, this is my cooking setup. Basically just a small pot, got my stove and my fuel on the inside. Be running the Sky Air. ULT and then I run the vestibule that way if it's raining and blowing you're not getting rain inside of there This thing's super light. You can set it up basically really just about anywhere And Got a uh, big Agnes. This is the Q core SLX pad um, Obviously, it's a little bit bigger and heavier than some of the other options out there, but in my opinion, if you can sleep really well and get good rest, you're gonna hunt better, you're gonna have a better hunt, you'll be more focused. So I pick a pad that's really long, wide, and has a pretty um, high value as far as keeping you warm. I wanna say it's called an R value. Uh, in here, I got a little swing out pocket. Actually, not a swing out pocket, it's just a camp pocket. And on the inside here, Got my medical kit, tags, uh, some gloves for using when I'm cutting up my bear. Got a Havlon knife, a little bit of paracord if I need it. I've got some clotting sponges in case something crazy happens. And then I got a microfiber towel. And the microfiber towel is actually super nice for either more for deer now cleaning off blood off the face of the animal, cleaning your hands. Um, if you are on an extended hunt and needed to use this as a towel, you can, you can just wring it out and kind of, it'll absorb moisture again. So that's pretty handy to have in there. I just keep all this stuff in here. I got an extra lighter, some extra batteries, um, some potable aqua, some water purification tablets, pretty standard stuff. 
that there. And then as far as my sleeping bag, chill cute 15 degree bag. This is an outdoor research waterproof compression sack and I could compress this down actually quite a bit more if I wanted to, but when I have space in my backpack, I kind of like to keep this just moderately compressed. It just seems like with down, you know, obviously it's super compressible, but you don't want to store it compressed. And so in my opinion, you know, the less that I can really compress that down super, super tight, I'm going to get a little bit more life out of it. So, and then in the very bottom, got game bags and I run a platypus. It's a three liter bladder and I run that through the hydration port onto my shoulder strap so I can get hydrated on the trail when I'm hiking super easy. We'll leave that in there. And then at the bottom of my backpack, again, this is pretty easy access. I just have a little butt pad that I sit on when I'm out there glassing. Taylor made this for me. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much my kit for a three to five day backpack spring bear hunt. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below or give us a call at the shop and good luck out there on your hunts.